Hey Crafty Cuties, welcome back to another video. Today we are going to make some collage tags. And let me show you an example. This is one that I previously made and it has a little envelope on it. It's kind of a simple project, but if you like putting things in your um, journals that have like pockets and you know, you like doing different mixed media projects and this would be good. I put um, journaling on the back of that one and that was in my journal. So this month um, I am sending my patrons little um, collage tag kits and so it's going to come like this and I thought I would just give you a little peek. It's not too late. If you sign up for my patron uh, Patreon by the end of the month I will send out a May Patreon happy mail. Um, but anyways, th I'm just going to give you a little idea. This is so, so this is what all of the tiers are, are going to get. And then some of like some of the tiers that are like, I think $18 and over or something like that will get like a five piece journal kit. I, I don't know. And some like handmade embellishments. So this is just kind of a base package. Okay. So let me show you real quick. So they're going to get something like this, some textiles. They're all going to be a little bit different. Vintage little manila envelope with a vintage stamp, some type of a manila uh, tag with an embellishment. They're all going to be different. Like everything's going to be a little bit different. Just an idea. Some um, cheesecloth, collage paper, Sorry if you can hear the sirens. Um, vintage wallpaper. Some uh, trim here. Vintage dictionary page. Some crinkly paper. Vintage bus tickets. And then it all comes in this fun little sewn um, envelope that I made here, like so. But for this project, we're just gonna do some collaging using these items, maybe some of my own items, but we're gonna collage onto this tag. I'm gonna go ahead and take this um, out here. And sorry if you can hear background noise, but we're just gonna go get started. Okay, so like I said, I want to start off by kind of just using the items that I have. So let me see, I'm trying to remember what I did with this one, okay. So I'm going to start by just taking some glue and gluing down the entire thing. You can do this with like a glue stick or um, Mod Podge, any type of glue that you like. And since this was wet glue, I'm just gonna kind of even it out. I have obviously really been into collaging lately. I don't know why it's just something that's kind of easy and mindful or uh, that, that's an audio not mindful, but like, it's just easy. So I'm going to take some of this collage paper. I'm going to actually tear it in half. I don't, I don't mind if it's not perfect. So I could cut it if I wanted it to be perfect. I'm just going to place that right there. This one up here. And then take some of this uh, vintage wallpaper. It's really pretty. I'm just tearing. I might use some of my inks at some point, but for now, I'm just kind of placing things. I'm going to take a little piece. Just kind of like filling in the spaces, I guess. Um, I'm thinking I might use leisure. Okay, I'm going to take part of this library piece here. It's just kind of a fun project. I'm going to put this at the top, kind of tear. I'm going to tear around like that, the little eyelet area. I'm going to put this back over here. And then we have a few places to fill in. Um, I could also, oh, I could do that. Yeah. So I'm going to use this. Whoops. 
I feel like there's so many different ways that you can interpret these pieces and whatnot. And, you know, if the receiver doesn't want to use them as a, as a collage tag project, you know, they can use it however they want. I'm going to actually cut this down a bit more. <laughs> okay, that was a fail. I'm going to fold that again. I just want like half. There we go. Um, I really feel like my background is really loud. Um, I hope it's not, but anyways, my babes are in bed and then Hans is showering and he must be listening to a really loud video. Okay. So I think my glue kind of dried cause it's not sticking. So we're going to add a little bit more. So I hope that you guys are doing well and, um, I have really been enjoying being able to do lots of videos lately. I'm going to add just a little bit more down here because I kind of like how that looks so like overlapping like that. So I'm not worried about the overhang because I'm just going to go ahead and trim that off, but I'm just deciding if I want to fill in any of the spaces, but I am going to add, I think a little bit of texture paste and spray. So I don't mind if a little bit of the tag is peeking through. And I also think I'm going to add like maybe, I don't know why I like the idea of having this little envelope here. So let's go ahead and just trim back. I think it's so much easier to just pile things on and then worry about trimming at the end rather than having everything be like a perfect size because I just like to go at it kind of fast. So trim these and for these I really like the idea of mixing textiles with paper and then I also like some of the like strings to hang over the side. So I'm going to leave that. All right. So we have that going. Um, I'm just going to leave. You know what? This paper actually that I'm filming on is a weird like crinkle. It's a packaging kind of paper. And I think I'm going to add some of it in my kits just because it's really fun. So I'm going to add some on the side here. I'm just going to glue some on whoops kind of like so and then again I'll trim off the excess just kind of a fun different texture hopefully you guys can see that it's been coming in our Amazon packages lately okay so what next so I know I want to add that envelope but I also want to add a little bit of texture paste and I'm just going to grab some here. Okay. So I have some texture or sorry, I have some of these stencils that are really, like really pretty flowers and things, but for this, you're not really going to see the shape. So I'm using some, uh, Ranger texture paste here. You can use all kinds of things like, um, caulking really inexpensive. Um, shoot, I don't know. There's all kinds of things you can use. So like, if you don't have texture paste and you're like wanting to do this tonight, just Google and see like what different mediums you can use that like might be a household item. This is just some polka dots. So I'm going to go like that just at the top there. Um, maybe I'll do some down here. Right now I'm not so worried if it's going to get uh, covered up or anything like that. I even got some on my background there. Just a little bit here, I think, because it would look really fun on the fabric. So we'll go over like so. And you need very little. All right. Oh, yeah. I was also thinking of stamping, which I haven't done yet, but it's not too late. We can use, I'm going to use this floral stamp. And then I'm going to grab my VersaFine Onyx Black ink. Just going to press the flower. Again, I don't know if really any of this will show. So I just want, man, my neighborhood is so loud tonight. I just want to go up here a little bit. And you know what? I don't really even care that that's not perfect. Okay. 
Next, I'm going to take my little sparkly spray here. I'm going to grab a um, paper towel. I would probably do this over a different area, but for the sake of the video, I'm just going to sprinkle some on up here. And then kind of go like this, just because I don't want it too wet. I don't want to have to worry about drying it. We can place it on here still. That's going to have to dry, but again, for the sake of the video, um, I can figure out what I want to do with this envelope. Okay, so I know I want to have this like kind of in the middle. And I don't know that I want the flap. So, let's see. Unless the flap's kind of covered. So, you know what? I'm going to take... Okay. I'm going to take the stamp. I don't want it to be uh, like pure manila. So I'm going to take my stamp and this is just a random Hero Arts uh, wooden stamp that I have. And I'm just going to stamp over the whole thing. And again, I'm not looking for like a perfect um, picture. I'm just looking. So I'm stamping the inside too, just to have some interest, I guess you could call it. And then I'm going to take this stamp, a real stamp, put a little glue on top. And then I'm going to glue this on like so. And it's going to be kind of the closure here. And then I'm just going to go ahead and glue this down. But I'm thinking of some more uh, textures that I can add. And I think I'll add some of this cheesecloth here. And I'm just going to cut some of it down. And if you are wondering how I would use something like this, well, I would usually just put it in my journal for like a kind of a decoration, but I would usually journal on the back of it. That's how I would use it. But there are several ways you can use things like these. You can just give them out as, you know, happy mail. Um, since this one has an envelope, you can put like a little hidden, you know, journaling spot in here. You can put a photo on the back, which a Polaroid photo would fit like perfectly. And that's not as super dry, but I will definitely be using this, this type of thing in my journal. And then I'm going to take the remaining, um, sorry ribbon that I have here. And it's kind of fun because it's on the tag here, but since I use some of the spray, it kind of altered the color. And so I'm going to take the rest of it and just put it through instead of using that, um, the string that came with it. I think it kind of just spruces it up, I guess, like so. And there we go. I feel like that was a really quick kind of fun project and the outcome is great. And this is going to look really great in my journal. And then the fun thing is you can use these envelopes um, oops, as well. And there's still so many pieces like left over, like I didn't even use the die cuts or these fun um, vintage bus tickets. So there's still a lot to work with. And so you could really make like several tags with these. And so I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Definitely feel free to use your own projects that are your, your own supplies at home that are similar to this or even, you know, a little bit different. And thanks to my patrons for the extra support. And I'll see you guys later. Bye.